Nice. Yeah, I'm actually doing that right now, and it made my uh, living room smell like garlic really bad this morning, but it's the smell subsided, so hopefully mm-hmm. in a week it'll be good. Yeah, because, like, um, after, like, a certain amount of time, like, the odorous compounds, like, would eventually get de um, and then it'll, like, slowly be... It's a weird process, like, what happens. I don't even know the science behind black garlic, because it's not just fermentation. But... Yeah. CD288 immediately going in for the side bees. You gotta save some of those, bro. Come on. Mm-hmm. It's a resource. Uh, I like the way that he just positioned himself. Like, he was definitely ready for that side B. Prepared himself really, really well. Again, like, using that Wonder Wing out of disadvantage. Okay. So let's just talk about what happened. I think uh, CD was like, hmm, you know what I want to press? I want to press Wonder Wing in disadvantage. Aw, oh, man. I didn't get it out. Let me, uh, let me try to do that again. You know, it's not a fast button. The armor doesn't come out that quickly. Not something you really want to be doing all that often. It's a good mix-up, you know. But but right now, I feel like Vestigree's kind of blowing him up for it. Yeah, Vest is definitely waiting for it now that he's seen um, CD do it more than like once in neutral. But I love there's the times when he's going to get caught by it. Corny. Yeah, that was, that was actually a really nice upbeat because it was like pretty safe. CD didn't know if he was going to land back onto the stage or not. It was, mm-hmm. it was like, honestly, from that range, he had to respect it, which is kind of weird. Um, oh, that was Vestigui, a waste. Yeah. CD got a little bit too greedy with, like, trying to get the juggle, but basically was, like, super patient as he was landing. Just, like, jumping and trying to bait an option. Again, all of these wonder wings. Yeah, it's a resource, and it's all gone now, so that's not going to be a, uh, a thing for the rest of the stock. And now CD kind of has his back up against the corner, where he has to really think about how he's going to ration the rest of these out for the next stock. Mm-hmm. Because Banjo to does to have difficulty killing. Yeah, like like Banjo's gonna be looking for like a lot of drag down nails and trying to maybe call out a jump. So either he needs to really commit to like one of like these full hop reads that you know Ike's go for a lot of, um, or you know just just. just... Oh wow! Actually, it was Ooh, a lag spike killed him. There was a little bit of a lag spike there uh, that you very clearly see where Vest just dropped and then air dodged immediately. I'm not sure what he was trying to do though. Yeah, no clue. But it's possible like he pressed down and... Oh no. I guess Vest Guys. forgot that he didn't have any uh, wondering left. He could have probably just up tilted there for the kill, regardless or X tilted. Yeah, he, he tried to really like telegraph and scare CD uh, to not wonder when he but it definitely seemed like he forgot about it. <laughs> oh wow, the that hurt box shift. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt box shift is something. All right. Oh. Yeah, honestly, I feel like that's a pretty decent vibe check. Like like hitting nail into F smash because it covers it can cover directional air dodge down and it covers somebody pressing a button um and not properly drifting in towards you. So just like it always focuses it makes your opponent forces them to keep them on their toes to be on their toes, excuse me. Stumbled over all my words. Um Oh my god, I don't I don't see how you're gonna win this matchup without any Wonder Wings. Uh, he burned them all so so quickly but even then I just feel like Vestigree just seems to be so patient, and, and CD keeps landing into all of his buttons. Jesus. I submit to no one. He was like, oh, I have a huge sword. Just stop trying to like hit me at a disadvantage, because I'm just going to swing my huge sword at you, and you're yeah. going to die. <laughs> Please. Also, uh, Brady, to answer your question about black garlic versus regular garlic, black garlic is garlic that has had all the moisture driven out, so it's like fermented slightly and also like cooked. Apparently, it tastes a lot like balsamic vinegar. Mm-hmm. And it has like a very kind of sweet taste because it's caramelized. There's like a lot of processes going on. Like it's slightly fermenting like while all of this is happening. But like, you know, garlic also has like a couple of like things in it to help like kill off some kinds of bacteria. And it's the sugars are slowly being caramelized. And even though it looks burnt, it's not burnt. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's weird. Black garlic is weird, but it is delicious. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to make a butter composite with it, with some of it. Nice. I'm only doing five bulbs to start, though, because I got my bottom mini rice cooker for, like, 15 bucks. Mm-hmm. And I was really scared it was going to burn my house down last night, because it smelled like a lot of burning when uh, I first started it. Mm. Also, shout-outs to Nerve Zero for the uh, lag test in the top right corner, if you guys haven't noticed it yet. Uh, the main things to keep an eye on are the numbers under P, that's the ping, uh, lower is better, and F, which is the number of times that they've dropped a packet, basically. Uh, no, so higher number is worse. Four packets. I believe D is distance, but I'm not sure. D is data. Oh, okay. 
It's just the size of the packets. Oh, okay. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, if you want to know how to read that cute little um, lag detector in the top right corner, that's how. <laughs> Alright, so we have... Oh! CD is going Young Link. Ready? I think. Yeah, that's Young Link. I feel like with Link, like, all of the... On Smash UG, the portraits for all the Links look very similar, so I have to kind of, like, double-check to make sure that I'm understanding what I'm looking at. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't disagree with the choice to go to Young Link. I think he's at least not. I don't know. I think I think Young Link definitely just has a couple more tools um, to use against Dyke. I mean, yep. CD like already is off to a much better start. Uh, for sure, like dealing on so much damage. Definitely not going to worry about burning all those resources because you, know, you really don't have any uh, with Young Link that are permanent like that. So Young Link is 100% like a better. A better zoner from the perspective of like if he gets caught in disadvantage or if his opponent manages to break his zone he can do things like really well out of disadvantage to get away from it you know, because like cd i feel like oh my god i feel like he was super keen to press buttons disadvantage sometimes like throughout an attack he tries to get out of it aggressively often young link's definitely gonna be a better character through that young link's buttons are fast and they're quick and they trade and they have little end lag Oh my god, please, stop going into him! <laughs> I hated you! Wait, no, 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 I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. That's fine, forgot. casting, I'm not gonna kick you out, do it again. It's, it's okay, for right now it's okay. Um, Alright, yeah, so... Vess actually doing like crazy amounts of damage, like with that one juggle, like almost 90%. Because he was like, you're gonna keep pressing down it, you're gonna keep trying to land aggressively. And also, by the way, that's like the top five words of feeling, getting fire aired by Young Link, and you just can't land and you can't air dodge away yet. It's, it feels so bad. Yeah, I think he's one of the few characters that also has like enough disjoint on his cheese. Yeah. On his upwards like hitting moves, that can actually punish Young Link's uh, down air very effectively. Mm -hmm. And Vest agrees, is making great use of that, but now it's almost even. Yeah, because CD keeps landing aggressively. He's pressing down it so many times in disadvantage. Best degree's like, okay, I'm gonna kill you with it for up smash. He keeps getting more up airs for it. CD needs to be much more patient, try to make his landings more ambiguous, because this is the only way that Best degree is just able to pile on all of his damage. Yeah. Also the fact that like when you're when a lot of new players are uh, are trying to figure out a matchup, one of the big things that they'll tend to do is that they will always try to land on top of their opponent with a hitbox that they feel is safe or that has worked really well for them in the past. And usually the reason it's worked for you is because the people that you're fighting don't really understand the counterplay. Or the move's busted, it could be one or the other. But if you don't understand why a move is really good for getting out of disadvantage, it'd be really dangerous to do that. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it already kind of bite a, a CD in the butt, but Vess isn't capitalizing as hard as he probably could be. On oh, wow. Mistakes. Missing the punish on the whip up B. I mean, that move is like a pretty difficult to punish as well. If you don't yeah. have like a big disjoint, you have to kind of get on top of Young Link while he's still spinning. Um, otherwise, he's able to usually get away with it. I mean, kind of uh, F tilted or uh, down tilted, those both of them like went valid. And F smashed if he uh, had realized quickly enough, but it is a very tiny margin of error for F smash. I feel like Vestigree right now, he's kind of finishing through the back hit of Nero into the back end. Um, and even at the times that he's. Okay, there we go. Finally, he gets it. Um, the times he was getting it before, he always like went for the short hop back end, which I believe um, might have been like the simp put. But I'm glad to see like finally he was like able to nail down the execution of it and get like the full uh, hop into the up end. I don't like the fact that like CD gave him so much space to get off of ledge. Um, instead of like focusing on ledge trapping and trying to secure the kill, he just like backed off and decided to kill more projectiles. Um, not really just like pressuring Vestigree and Corny. I want to see what's down there. I really want to. Like it, when it works, it works, but it's like it's so risky to do yeah. it sometimes. And it's like you can't like you got to be careful with how like you choose your shots. And it's like he just mm -hmm. abandons his uh, his zoning completely to just kind of do it sometimes. And it's not like great, but it's on Vest to be the one to punish it though. It's like if it's working, that's not really his fault. That's not working. It's Vest's. Yeah. I agree, for sure. Um, like, yeah. like, like he is confident that CD is going to land aggressively. I think he's going to commit to those weeds even harder and try to get a bigger punish off of them. Instead of just like, you know, going for another up air, he just might dash back F smash and lose something. 
It's actually crazy, like, watching these replays and being like, okay, you confirmed off the boomerang. Are you going to forward air? No, you're going to down air, because you're assuming that he's going to air dodge down. Which, that might not necessarily be, like, the worst uh, read you can, you can make, but you got to, like, choose your shots a little better, bro. Yeah. Like, I think out of all the stocks that CD lost, it was, to ju ju it was because he was doing down air in, like, really bad positions. But again, like Vest also lost stocks because instead of um, instead of taking advantage of the fact that that uh, the young link has kind of a bad grab, not a terrible grab, but he has like he doesn't have a good grab. Yeah, um, you have to you have to for the most part kind of play out of shield against young link. His grab is super committal. It's definitely one of the worst tethers, if not like the worst tether. It's pretty slow. Um, yeah. I mean, instead of just being like, okay, I think that you're going to try to punish my Nair on your shield with something heavy or something that I know you're not going to try to grab, uh, you need to... Instead, he decided to... Instead, he decided to just keep jumping out of shield and kept being punished for it. Yeah. And, and like, worst things is going to happen. Like, you're going to get, like, grab up thrown by Young Link. He doesn't really have much from throws. And his kill throws are not going to be killing the Ike until super, super late. Yeah. For sure. The best he gets is, uh, is a good advantage date, which, honestly, CD's not really taking advantage of when he does get it. So. Oh, my God. My dash grabs in this game look so pitiful. <laughs> well, some, some dash grabs do. <laughs> like Ness is... Oh, oh that f tilt. That tilt was so good. Well, Vestigree is just looking so confident right now in his movement. I feel like every time he committed to a falling aerial CD was right where he wanted him. Um, yeah, look, look how antsy CD is getting with his own out of shield punishes. He's not respecting. Look at this. He's gonna land aggress. He's gonna land aggressively again. CD. Uh, I mean, the thing with uh, the thing with Young Link's down there is that it's technically safe on shield. Technically. Because it has so little landing lag, but it's like, you gotta like, choose your shots a little better, bro. Because if you do something repeatedly, like, eventually your opponent's gonna be like, Okay, I'm just gonna make you whip this, and I'm gonna murder you for it. Yeah. This thing is just looking so good for the Ike, too. Like, he's just able to get so many, like, um, juggles with up air, able to get, like, the platform extensions he's looking for as well. I, I like the fact that he's really going out of his way to, like, avoid getting hit by boomerang. But honestly... Yeah. I'm just gonna, like, talk about that, or... <laughs> That's how I would talk about what? I don't know what you could possibly be talking about. I'm just, I'm just watching this match and I'm like, wow, what's, what's happening? Okay, that was a good counter. That's, I, was, that's a counter, yeah. Oh. No, you shouldn't be letting the Lynx get back onto stage for free, especially if you have a counter. No, yeah, that's a good edge card. Super smart. Hey, Young Link definitely has one of the better uh, upbeats back because he has so much more aerial mobility than his brothers do. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, that was a great counter. He didn't really have much more choice in that position. Yeah, like the recovery is not, not the best on distance. Um, pretty predictable as to the timings as well, and pretty linear. So not not like a whole lot he, CD could have done there. Just good execution on Vess's part, and this time he's able to get the falling nail into the into the full hop back here. He is looking to get the stock again. Good weight on CD's part, not up being too early though. Yeah, that's the yeah. only thing you can really do, like delay your timing slightly. This is honestly like a great counter pick on uh. On Vess's part, because he's like, "Yeah, you're not gonna be able to keep." Never mind. I was gonna say you're not gonna have to keep down airing with reckless abandon here without like getting some kind of punish. But like, just immediately does it the second that he was about to say that. So, yeah, thanks. No, but that's, that's like a boomerang into down air. That's like fine. That's Honestly, like I don't mind it. Like, yeah. like, what's I gonna do? Like, double jump out of disadvantage? I don't think. I don't think he accelerates fast enough on his double jump um, to actually get out of that. <laughs> And we see, like, Vess is not, like, he's not grabbing at all, which is really interesting. He's just honestly swinging at, uh, at CD, just being like, I'm just gonna keep swinging at you, and if you get in the way, it's your fault! Yeah, no, no, like, 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 he just ran up, <laughs> he was sitting there, and he was like, um, I think I'm gonna jump out of shield. I feel like CD hasn't been jumping out of shield at all, to be quite honest. It's been, like, upbeat almost every single time, we're gonna roll back, uh, for sure. I, mm, I have no words for this. Oh! That up there, barely reaching. Mm -hmm. Just cut off that small child's head. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes decapitation's like 
It's okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you don't endorse Vestigly. those kind of statements here at the House of 3000. Look, Vestigly, he was like, yeah, you're gonna land aggressively with down out. So he charges up Smash, but he lets it lip. He lets it whip a little bit too late. Ike Smash is so slow. Um... Okay, you know, I appreciate the fact that Vest is kind of slowing things down and he's like taking his time. Because right now, this is the most dangerous moment for him. He can either live until like 170 because Blink doesn't have a great way to kill people that are shielding, or he can die right, right now from like another up smash or a down air because he jumps too he's much. Die from a down air at 128. Yeah, totally, 100%. Yeah. He's dead though. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I counter's pretty strong, <laughs> even on like the super weak moves. I have seen more down ends in the last two games than I've ever seen from a young Link, I think. <laughs> Man, the smash tip of the day, please, um, sometimes in disadvantage, don't land don't with a stall and fall. Is it a stall and fall? Not really, right? What, what, what kind of move is it, that down end? Just a move that's safe on. Just a move that's generally like has low landing lag, so it's like yeah. you immediately think of it, think to do it in neutral out of jumps. Not great. Not 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 great. I mean, if they had like stubby vertical hitboxes, sure. But Ike has a huge sword, bigger than Young Link's entire body. Just covers his head completely. You know, he, Ike is extremely disjointed. All right, I gotta kick Vestigree out of here now. Ugh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's why. Ah, this stupid Joy-Con. <laughs> okay, so next up we're gonna have first class whale on stream.